You can. I can hear you a little. Little. Okay. Hang on. What? One second. Okay. Can I disable your audio? That's you're turning your microphone on. So we're coming through this guy. What's the problem? I hear my own voice. Let's let's just let's see how this goes. For you saw like I I made that like little three sixty video thing. Yeah, I saw that. I. It's really hard to watch. God, we're so smart. I love Chinese. <laughs> Imagine What's I... the name of our band? Oh, that, that was the Suicide Cop. Are we still going by that? I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right, sorry, Ben. We forgot what our band name was. Don't worry, I don't remember it anyway. Come on. I've got the one... I got one line yeah, planned for this. Go for it. You know why Roy Orbison always wore sunglasses? I don't know. Is because that a wrestler? Was... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Roy man. Orbison <laughs> Roy is Orbison? the guy who wrote the song that we covered. Oh, okay, yeah. I, got <laughs> I you. drove all night. Okay. Pretty, pretty woman, which is a pretty awful mm. song in my opinion, but In Dreams is really good. Mm. Uh, but he wore sunglasses all the time because he was ugly as shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. So, okay, so that's a that's a pitch for your that's your sound. Is no, that I just wanted your, to talk okay. about that. The pitch for our sound yeah, is just... uh, we're rockers. We're like. Do you ever see those like uh old like um, like '90s MTV interviews that they would do with like, uh, they would have pavement or swamps. God fucking damn it! He's not into us. <laughs> is Pute Killers, Suicide Cop, I Drove All Night, and then it says brackets, Royben Orbanson. There you go.
Konnichiwa, school shooter. Yeah, yeah you're, you're, making me, you're making me aggravated. There are people that get it, people that sort of kind of get it, but yeah, there are mostly people that don't get it, and the people that don't get it, I don't really care for. I'm not. I'm not really trying to cater to those kind of people. I don't really care. I don't really care if people listen to my music in general or not. Like it's just something I do for myself. It makes me laugh. The joke makes me laugh, and that's all that's important, I guess. Okay. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna change it just because I'm not making people happy. I'm not making. I'm not making people feel good about what I'm doing. It's, what a, what a what a terrible question. Hey, come here. So uh, ev every artist, we get a fan, like a fan submission. Uh, mm. so the thing, so the fan says, uh, "You should cover more Mac DeMarco songs." Hey, I'm I'm assuming that's like a that was a joke because. Next fan question is: uh, You should make more songs that sound like Mac DeMarco. Oh okay. okay. Did did a fan really? I I feel like you just. I, I don't think. If it was a genuine comment, I'm I'm not gonna do any Mac DeMarco songs. All these little peep stands keep asking me, you should cover more little peep songs, and that's all they know me for. And I that that sort of bothers me. And I don't I don't want to keep making little peep songs. I'm not. To be honest, I'm not even that big of a fan of his. Just thought it was. I just thought Beamer Boy was a good song. Is your goal to write the uh, the theme song to an animated kids TV show? Is that my goal? Yeah. Would you like? It, to it, it, it would be cool to have a you know school shooter on Cartoon Network, Disney Channel, whatever. Mm. I'd be open for that. Okay, I'll. It's not really my goal, but I'll, I'll make it happen. Bad people online. There's a lot of weirdos out there. The people that listen to my music are all wonderful. Beautiful, happy people. Protect yourself. How do you feel being a sort of uh, transmedial representation of white angst in teen America, <laughs> whilst being none of those things? You're saying I represent angry white men? All of what? them, yeah. Hmm. <laughs>
so ha, ha, I've got I've got some questions. Oh, they, these ones are quite good, actually. Um, so, Michael, how would you describe your sound, Michael? My sound uh, is a blend of everything I've heard in my life. I've been a big fan of psychedelic music for a long time. Before then, I was into, like, System of a Down and stuff. So you got, like, the half steps and stuff they use on their guitar. They go, you know, instead of going here to here, they go here to just here. Middle way, they reach the middle point, so it creates, like, a disturbing sort of sound uh and then psychedelic music does the same thing you use like eastern sounds and stuff like that but i don't know like my sound came out of nowhere like with california the first that was the first song i did that i really liked and uh anything before that it was shit and i hated it um but i would describe my sound as folk psychedelic grunge or something like that because I, I don't know it's kind of like the sort of sound quality that a sort of Russian cam girl would record a song in. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I use my iPhone to record my music. That's how I record my music. So sound quality is not very great. What's the purpose of what you do? Like, what's what's your end state? For some people, it's you know fame and fortune. Like, do you have a do you have a drive with this? Probably. I mean, if I put on like a wig or something. And became a girl, a uh, trans ASMR. Uh, you should make more Mac DeMarco covers. What? I agree. So the next fan question is, um, you should make more songs that sound like Mac DeMarco. I agree. How do you feel about being like a prized artistic MDE twink? Oh. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty fun. I mean, I don't think a lot of people in the sub know, like, exactly who I am. Some people know my name and, like, what I've done, like, all the comedy stuff and before that that I would post this sub. Um, but, yeah, it's fun. I got moderator status, and uh, it's good. I just hope no one in the future sees how queer I am. I guess these are just puns of, like, if you don't have money in your PayPal, just, like, you're not, you're not, you're not a 21st century man. Uh... I I like vinyl because it just sounds better. When would you have ended it personally? I don't think there's any point that I would have ended it.